Yes, and we're back. This is Seb that I web with a short instruction video on uh, one of our flatsome templates that we're selling. It's called Blitz, and you can find it on sepdataweb.com. Uh, we call it a fashion shop template, but you can, of course, use it also for other purposes. It's just a very minimal uh, looking template that is focused on uh, showing the products in the best way possible. Um, the thing what I'm going to show you today is how to set up the menus nicely on the left and the right and having these custom drop downs as well. When you scroll all the way down, we're having a custom footer, including some navigation links and even some uh, copyright links uh, down below in the absolute footer. So um, first of all, if you already installed Blitz, you probably see something like this, having the dots on the left and in the right. And this has all to do with the fact that the menus are missing at the moment. First of all, I'm also going to show you inside the header builder by just clicking on flat some team options and by clicking on the header, I can show you how the header has been set up for now. You can see that the main menu is placed on the left side of the logo. And here you can see that the top bar menu is on the right. Now we are missing the menus and we need to assign those menus to these specific two locations uh, for mobile you can see that we're only having the nav icon in place. I'm going to close this. And now the first thing that I need to do is create those menus and assign them. I'm going to WordPress, going to Appearance, going to Menus. And as you can see, I'm not having any menu at the moment. You can call it whatever you want, uh, but sometimes it's nice. I think it's a good thing to do is call this left menu because this is the menu that is placed on the left side of your logo. Um, and we need to say that the display location is the main menu in this case, because as you have seen before, uh, I have placed that main menu element on the left side of the logo. Create menu. And let's have a look at our... Um, demo or blitz demo how it's been built up so i'm having some product categories and then some pages uh, i'm not sure if i already have some product categories here on this clean installations but let's just create one uh, by going to products saying categories calling this woman and we having men of course here we go now I'm having two product categories created in my WooCommerce area by products categories. And now going back, I'm just going to refresh this page. Scrolling down here at the product categories, you can find at the view all because it's not seeing any products related to the category, but I'm going to view all and then I can see men and women. If you don't see those product categories tab, make sure you open this up by opening up the screen options and then highlighting the product categories. This is the one. So now you can click on them, add them to the menu. Woman is first. And then we're having two pa uh, single pages, um, the about and the contact page. Here we go. And of course, you will probably need to you know, rename them. Uh, they are all imported with Blitz, uh, the Blitz title up front. And we have chosen to go forward with this because we want to make a separation between your pages and our pages. And if you have bought the all access pass, you can even import all our other template pages and then really try some things out. Um, but now let's also maybe rename them. Not, um, you know, making the title of the page just about. And I'm not sure because I don't really are familiar with the Gutenberg editor. But um, where can I find the permalink here? And, and it's already set to about. So it's not saying Blitz. So that's okay. Hope you're still getting me. But I'm just taking out that Blitz name. And now when I refresh, let me just save the menu. You can see oh, it's still saying Blitz about. Not sure why that is. So I'm, I'm just taking it out. And now you can see here Blitz has been taken away. And I can do the same for contact, of course, going back, going to contact. So I think it's wise to say if you are using uh, one of our pages, just going inside, take that blitz out, make sure that this permalink is nicely. So I'm just going to make this into contact update. And now when I save the menu, I can find the contact page available here. 
drag that up, re remove, I'm going to remove this, and I'm going to save. So let's see if this already works. Save the menu. Going to open up the demo, my project. And as you can see, it's looking nicely. Um, now the next thing what I wanted to show you is how to set up those um, drop-down menus. Well, these you can find at the UX block section. We have already created some nice looking layouts. So you can see the Blitz custom drop-down for men and the Blitz custom drop-down for women. Um, so now I'm going to uh, appearance, menus. And here I'm going to open up woman saying that the default design needs to be, uh, a, I think we're working with a container width. No, I think a custom width, custom size. And let's say we are making this about 500 pixels. And we're going to select that custom drop down for woman. I'm going to save that. I'm going to refresh this. And let's see how it looks. So it looks already nice, but I think we're missing some space. So I think we need a little bit more. Instead of 500, let's make it 700. So that's what we want. So you do the same for men. You open it up. You're going to design saying it needs to be a uh, custom size. 700 UX block. Men. Save. And then you can also make a decision if you want to open that up on a click on, on a hover. I at the moment have it on a hover and I think that works the best because you don't want to click to see that menu. So it's looking nice. And how you can edit this menu, this custom drop down, is either by being, make sure you're logged in inside WordPress and then you go hover and then you can see the tooltip saying edit this block and the custom drop down woman. Clicking on edit with the UX builder. And, then, and now you can just click and then change the links around. Uh, and you can assign, of course, this link to any product category or any kind of product or also pages, of course. And this is simply a button to change. Scrolling down and here you can change the link. Uh, you can even, you know, make this banner into a promotion and also link this banner to any kind of uh, uh, page inside your uh, website or web shop. Um, so I think I've said enough about the drop downs. You now also uh, know how to set up the menu. Now we're still having the right menu missing and we are using the top bar menu element for this. So going back, I'm going to create a menu, a new one. I'm going to call this right menu. And I need to assign this to the top bar menu. Oh. And let's check our demo. So we're having support, wish list, and my account. So support, I think I have here. Uh, and again, you know now the trick how to rename this. I'm just going forward with this because it just saves me a lot of time just changing this to this. Uh, but the thing is, when you change the name here, it won't be changed inside your page name. So when I go back, you will still see the Blitz support instead of. So if you want to do it the right way, change it here first and then go back to your uh, menu. Uh, but now to speed things up, I, I just continue. Um, so we also have in the My Account. And as you can see, you can see those uh, My Account things ready. Um, at, the, at the moment, I don't have the, um, the My Account page in place. It's not automatically imported um through my uh installation but if you want to restore those important woocommerce pages i can show you a little trick by going to woocommerce status this is it's a strange place to find this feature but it works so woocommerce status tools scrolling all the way down and then you can see create the default woocommerce pages create pages And now by going back to pages, you can find those important pages like the cards, the checkout, the my account. So now I'm also able to add that my account page to the right menu. So I will do that, my account. I think we're almost there. And we're having the wish list. Um, you need to have a plugin for this. I'm going to make a, sh uh, a different video for this. It's the YIT uh, wish list that uh, is supported. Um, 
with Flatsum at the moment, so Yit, WooCommerce, Wishlist, and as soon you install and run through the setup, you can also add that to your menu. For now, I will just leave it. I'm going to um, save the menu and make sure you set the display location to the top bar menu. That's the only way it should work. And now refreshing the page, you can see it's working. Um, yeah, we're done. Scrolling all the way down, you can find our custom footer. There are two ways to change uh, the custom footer by just being logged in, scrolling all the way down. Make sure you see the, the black top bar on the top and then you can see this tooltip. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to find this tooltip. Then I'm you know, searching everywhere with my mouse to, you know, to find this. Uh, if you want to have a faster way, you can also go to the UX block section. Here you can find the custom footer that you could also open up with the UX builder and then change everything. At the moment, we are using these banners uh, for the Instagram feed. Of course, you can replace this with a real Instagram feed because now it's just a gallery and it's an easy way for us not to just to show the possibilities and uh, not uh, having it to be connected with Instagram. Uh, but here you can find the Instagram feed and just replacing that second row with the actual Instagram feed that is supported uh, from Flatsome. Uh, you need to check out my other video about how to set up the Instagram feed. Um, here you can find the uh, links. You can just click on it and then you can, you know, select your post or page or product or whatsoever and connect, connect those links. Here down below, we're working with buttons again. So you don't can select a product page or post by a drop down. You need to scroll down and here you will just type in a manual link. Um, yeah, I think that covers it. So now you know everything about how to set up the main menu, how to set up the drop down menu, and also how to edit the links down below inside the footer. So thank you, and uh, I see you in the next video. Good luck with setting up Blitz the best way possible. Bye bye.